folks, it's raining. I'm driving home. But I wanted to film this for just a second if I can not hit anybody. I'm trying to be as careful as possible. So you can hear what my truck engine's doing. My truck, unfortunately, we're about to lose this engine on it. And so we've decided that we're gonna go ahead and swap the engine. So uh, this is a 1983 Chevy C10. You'll see more of it here in a minute. Um, original engine, I believe, we'll find out maybe later. Uh, 204,000 miles on it. I'm gonna turn off the, the uh, windshield wiper so you can hear what it's doing. So the pat, 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 pat is an exhaust leak, but the squealing, the squeaking, I've got something going on in one of the cylinders. I've got a, um, I think it's something in the top end. I've got a burnt valve, or I've got a, uh, a uh, bent push rod, or a rocker arm that's not in the right spot, or something. So uh, this is what this is why we're. Uh, ready to swap the engine because of this. All right, so I made it to the, I made it to beautiful downtown Jefferson. And uh, Donnie says he can fix the engine. Yeah, <laughs> this is the tools we're gonna be using today. Milwaukee. Yeah, uh -huh. you got to have a Milwaukee impact wrench. I bought it last night from uh, Home Depot. What you see there? It's too bright. They can't see. Can you see that? There we go. It's missing the lock ring. No lock ring in it. What in the world? It's brand new like that? Brand new. That ain't good. The only thing I've seen wrong with it so far. It's brand new sealed in the pack with no lock ring in it. The washer's there, but the lock ring ain't there. Hmm. All right. But anyway, it's 250 foot pounds of torque. So that's the uh, the main impact we're gonna be using today. We got this uh, little Craftsman set here. This is, uh, what is this? The Craftsman tool set. Now, see if it says made in USA, Donnie. I think they may be, actually. I think they're made in China now. No, they've moved back. I don't know if these are. Made in Taiwan, ain't it? Made in Taiwan. Oh, good God. Go on their website. Go on their website and look what they're doing on their website. Oh, we're moving back to the U.S. Made full, in the U.S.A. Full lifetime warranty. All right. The uh, uh, their impact. You know where their you know where Craftsman's impact drivers are made. No telling. Fort Mill. Seriously. Yep. Oh, all the all of uh, uh, Dewalt stuff is made there. Yeah. So they are moving some of their stuff back, but we we weren't fortunate enough to get the U.S. made one yet. So, Maybe uh, next time. This, this is all we're going to use to pull this. We're going to pull Wait, the motor out. You said you were going to fix it. I'm going to pull the motor out. Oh, yeah, yeah, my. So this is, uh, this is the whole set we're going to use, and we're probably only going to use, what do you think, four sockets, five sockets? Probably four. Four sockets to pull the whole motor out. Donnie says it ain't no thing. This, we He's also, acting like it ain't a big deal. We also got this right here. This is, this is the old school one. Well, that's pretty cool. So, we got this. I had to get it this week. Get everything ready. So, uh, we're fixing to pull the motor, y'all. All right. We'll see what we can get done, folks. Now, we're going to keep track of how long it takes us. Donnie has a reputation for uh, working pretty fast. I'm pretty laid back. But uh, we don't think it's going to take too long to pull it out. So, we'll see. All right, folks, so before we take it loose, we have two things we need to worry about. One is the AC uh, Freon. It's not really Freon, but, but luckily, this truck has a slow leak in it, so it's all leaked out already anyway. But if, it, if that hadn't been, you got to use like a, what do they call it? Recovery. A recovery unit, but we don't have to worry about that. So there's that. And then second is all of the coolant. Uh, so we've got a pan under it. We're going to catch all the coolant in. 
and uh, try to keep our our workplace clean here. So uh, we're gonna get on it. We're gonna tell you about how long it takes us to do it. Um, we just started with the coolant and Donnie's taking the battery now. We got the emergency brake on, got some blocks behind the rear wheels, and here we go. Hood came off. How long did that take, Donnie? Three minutes. About three minutes, people. The trick is, y'all, you've got to keep up with your screws. Yeah, you got to know where the bolts go. You put them in a little bag or something, but we don't, we don't really have a ton of them we're going to be doing. Because we're leaving all the stuff on the engine. Okay. What's next, Donnie? I'm going down bottom. All right, he's going down bottom. I'm going to take off both headers, collectors. Okay. I'm going to take the bell housing bolts. Okay. And I'm going to take uh, flywheel bolts off the torque converter. Okay. So everything will be done when I come out from underneath. We're not going to worry about the radiator yet? You're going to work on the radiator. Oh, okay. While I'm downstairs. All righty. And uh, I need you to get the air conditioning lines, the air conditioning, the radiator. Air conditioning lines. Power steering pump. Lay it out of the way. All right. Okay. Power steering pump, air conditioning lines. And it's going to take us about radiator. 25 minutes. And we'll be ready to pull it. All right, here we go. Well, Donnie's got everything disconnected underneath. Now we're trying to take these damn headers off. We bought this, I bought this truck. I keep saying we, cause he's doing most of the work, but I bought this truck. It used to be a Texas truck. And uh, we don't know if the engine's been swapped. Donnie thinks it has cause of these headers. I mean the, uh, the headers and the there's all kinds of metric bolts on this thing. Yeah, so we think it's probably been swapped at some point. Um, it's got 204,000 miles on the truck, unless it's 304,000 miles, which may be. Um, but they've got headers on them. I can't stand headers, so he's, they leak like hell. But we got a problem where we can't put, we gotta put the headers back on the new engine because we can't get the exhaust done. So what basically I'm gonna put the headers back on the new engine and then take it to an exhaust place to have them put all new, put the old manifolds back on and put all new uh, dual exhaust all the way out. Y'all comment down below what you think's the matter with this motor. We're gonna tear it down once I pull it out of here and see what we think it is. What we can find. I think it's gonna be bent push rod over on this side of the engine. I think it's gonna be burnt valves. Perhaps a burnt valve. Or bent valves, one or the other. Something's going on over here, I think. Donnie's saying since there is a crossover pipe on the exhaust, it could be either side, and you wouldn't know. You can see, though, one of the reasons we're pulling it is because, you know, we've got our other truck. I still don't have it running. Well, I've got it running, but it ain't right. Uh, and one of the reasons that we, I was working on that one is because this one really needed an engine rebuild just because it leaks like a sieve. So uh, it was time anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. I'm just gonna buy a crate motor and put in it. What do you think, Donnie? It's the only way to ride, I believe. We think it's the only way to ride, if you're gonna keep the truck, right? And this has been a good truck to me and I really like it, so I'm gonna keep it and just put a new motor in it. And we can't hire anybody to do it, apparently. And we're not talking about a remanufactured motor. Yeah, we're talking brand new block, everything. We're gonna get it in a box and then push it in there. That's what we're hoping. We can't find anybody to, to uh, do an engine swap for us. So, And the only engine we can find relatively quickly is from the damn dealer. It's from the dealer. If you go to Chevy and say, I would like to buy a new engine, they say, okay. We'll have it to you tomorrow. We'll have it to you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. We appreciate that. They could, uh, they would swap it for us too, but it's like 10 grand to swap it or something. And then the problem with having a dealer do it is they complain about every little thing. Well, you know, I don't know about that radiator. You know, wire there has got a fray in it. Let's check, we need to go ahead and get the harness. Uh, of course they're back ordered. Yeah, six weeks. Gonna be about six weeks. But the engines, if you just buy the damn engine in a crate, they got it the next day. That's what I claim. We're gonna find out tomorrow. But uh, we're pulling the engine out now. 
But uh, we're going to keep on these headers and see if we can get them the hell off of here. And then uh, we're about ready to pull it up out. Donnie's already got everything underneath taken off. Okay, yo. This is what I'm saying. Look down in here. There ain't no way that cylinder could have been fired. Uh-huh. I think we may have found look, a bad cylinder. Look over here on this side. Uh, there's no way that could have been fired. Uh-huh. It would have burned all that out. Yep. And you know, we got grease all over. We've been messing with this for a couple couple weeks. Last week we were screwing around with it. We haven't taken the valve covers off yet though. But if you we we got grease all over, oil all over it messing with it. But if you look, the oil's still on this pipe because that one's not getting as hot as the other ones. There was oil this bad on some of the other pipes and it immediately burned it off. I mean it takes like look down a minute. The cylinder. Illuminate us, Donnie. Yep. That cylinder's dead. I don't know why, but that cylinder is dead. We just put new plugs in it last Sunday. And this is the plug that was in that cylinder. It never fired. Yeah, it never fired. It looks brand new. Wait, they're bleeding out. Look down in there where they can see the white, and that'll tell them it never fired. There you go. So we're running on at least seven. So that's months. been in there for a week, and that's what it looks like. So we'll pull one of the other ones so they say the comparison. That cylinder has never fired. This was the one next to it. It's been in there for a week also. Also been in there a week. So that's why we're tearing it apart. It ain't just we're out here willy-nilly in it. It's needed it a long time, folks, which is why we were working on the other uh, truck. We were trying to get it done so that we could bring this one in. But we ended up with both ends. So now the reason we're swapping this one is because we think it'll be an easier swap because everything on the truck is working. Just the engine's screwed up. Yeah, the other one, the wiring is an issue. Yeah, right the, we got wiring problems on the other one. The brakes, we, you know, they're working, but we're a little, you know, uh, you know. <laughs> So we'd, we'd like to be able to take our time on that one a little bit. This one will probably be quicker to, to swap the engine, but it's, it was to the point, you saw how it was driving. We just can't, I can't keep driving it like that. Wow. Transmission jack's giving us trouble. Everything's giving us trouble. I got some good footage of you cussing and uh, cursing it. We're literally down to the last bolt. We had everything off in about an hour. And then Donnie's been working on one bolt for an hour. What's the problem, Donnie? Can't get to the damn thing. It's in the worst possible place, and they had three wiring harnesses on a clamp on that bolt. It's it's kind of quicker to pull the engine and the transmission at the same time, get them all completely out, and then do it. But I'm gonna go to the house. I'll see y'all. All right. I'll be back about four, I guess. All right, Gene. Or, I mean, yeah, four. All right, we'll see you then. I got to unload my truck. I got all kinds of shit on my truck. <laughs> all right, Gene, I'll see you at the well. What time is it? 1.48. It's almost 2 o'clock. The Christmas parade's coming. We figured we'd pull an engine and go to the Christmas parade. All right, Gene, we'll see you in a little bit. It's killing my back. By the way, if y'all can't tell, he's standing in the truck. <laughs> I can't help much, people. They're all yelling at me, Donnie. I can't help much. There's just one damn, one boat. I mean, what can I do? I'm getting them tools when I need them. And it's fighting the whole damn way. It's fighting the whole way. Probably all that grease that's caked on it. That probably ain't helping much.
And I've had it loose for the last 30 minutes. <laughs> and still can't get it out. This wouldn't happen if we wouldn't try to time it. That's what we get. This is our karma. Instant. We, yep, we was trying to time it, and then here we are. All right, we'll keep working. So we got a chain. Putting a bolt in the intake back through one of the links of the chain, old school like. <laughs> now, old school doesn't necessarily mean the best way, it just means the way that it used to be done. No fancy little eyelets or anything, you just take the freaking chain and put a bolt through the link. George straight on the radio. You see what happened there, Milwaukee? You see what happened there? No damn thing to hold the, the, the socket on. So it slid right off of the freaking drill underneath the truck. Why are they doing us like that, Donnie? After all we've said good about them. That really screwed the pooch on this one. All right, I'm gonna go get the socket. We're rigging up our engine hoist. We saw a design flaw. Basically, that thing can move, so it's gonna kinda do this in the middle. So Donnie's putting something in the top of it so that leg can't move very well. Maybe that'll stiffen it up a little bit. What do you think, Donnie? I just got it. That's it, baby. See how he thought better? He said, ah, shit. Ronnie's going to say something if I throw that hammer up on his truck. No, I wasn't worried about that. <laughs> worried about getting this up high enough to clear the radiator. Yeah, that's going to be fun. All right, I gotta help him. Wobble, wobble. We think we got everything unhooked, but we don't know for sure. We do believe. I don't know, I might change my mind and drive this one home later on. We need to come up to where that's gonna clear. But I got to come forward a little bit first. Go ahead and pull her forward. Oh, wait a minute. Transmission lines. Yeah, I ain't even worried about them. Oh, you're, trans oh, you're trying to break loose of the transmission. Are the lines bolted on the side of the engine nope. down there? They're not? Okay. They're supposed to be, but they ain't. What's that wire right there? That's just hanging there. Let me see the light. Let me pick this up. He's taking our light, folks. Okay. I don't know if it came forward at all, Donnie. Mike still had a ground strap on the firewall too, but I don't think that's that's not your problem right now, but I bet you still got that on there. Alright, we'll be back. What is this, Ronnie? I want to make transmission fluid. Look right here, put your light up right here in this area where they can see. You ready? Look at that shit. No transmission mounts at all. It's just sitting there floating. That's fun. Transmission mounts broke. Uh huh. That's why the whole damn thing's. Basically, the, the transmission, nothing's holding it in place. So it moves and, forward and, and back. And so we're trying to pull the engine and it's pulling the transmission at the same time. Yeah, see how much it's pulled it up. So that's what we're fighting. And see, I'm wiggling this and the whole fucking transmission, every damn thing moving. I thought a little much was moving. 
so let me see a flashlight now. All right, we'll keep messing with it. Three hours and 20 minutes. But transmission mount was broke. So the transmission's jumping all over the place. We had an errant screw in the back. They like it when I say errant screw. They've been laughing at that lately. And we already took off the AC. Uh, of course, the power steering pump we left in the truck. The alternator, some of the brackets. So. Yo, comment down below. Should we use the damn water pump? Ronnie just changed it not long ago. Donnie wants to save the water pump. I want to save my twelve dollars. Thirty-five hundred dollar engine. He's gonna put twelve dollar water pump on. I don't know, Donnie. I think I'm gonna splurge. It was twelve dollars and a half, actually. I think they're about thirty bucks now with inflation. It costs more to ship stuff from China to the United States now, so all the prices went up. Watch them go. Boy, they're gonna love that hook we got in there. I'm not gonna show them that, but some of them done seen it. The two boat. We're trying to get some of the goodies off, then we're gonna set it right there in the floor. Trying to lighten her up a little bit. She got a little bit of weight on her. Trying to lighten the load. Boy, that was badass, Donnie. Look at that. He just ripped half the engine off with one hand. Yeah, I remember doing that. See that bolt on the front of it, Donnie? What that looked like something I did? Yep. I think I might have even done a video of it. Do we got a harmonic balance puller down here? Maybe. I'd like to have that one. I'd like to get in there and look at that timing chain. The, uh, uh, <laughs> the harmonic balancer fell off this thing in the middle of the street. And at the shop, right in front of our video game store, I put it back on. I put a new one on it. That's why that bolt is newer. Notice everything else has grease all over it, but I did that years ago. Well, I barely had it on there. Been a good old engine, Donnie. Oh, look, bud. All right, we're gonna see if we can get that off and then uh, we're gonna take off the heads once we get on the ground and uh, see if we've got, see what kind of problems we've had with it. All right, Donnie, now I, I, when I was driving last night, I told people to put down below what they thought the problem was. I thought it was on the driver's side, but we just popped off the passenger side. And that one that was not firing the rocker arm has popped off of the damn push rod. So you could fix it and probably drive it some more. Go ahead and fix it, Donnie, and throw it back in there for me. Push rod's locked in place. So um, that would do it. That That's fixable, though. I mean, you could have fixed it. Oh, yeah, I'll fix it. You said it's locked in place. It's probably bent all the hell. Can you pull the lifter out without taking the head off? Yes. Yeah, so you can pull that out, put a new lifter, new push rod. The rocker arm's probably if, fine. If that valve's not bent. That valve's probably bent. And it wouldn't come all the way back and that gave it so much slop. Oh, and that's off. why it did it. But you can see there, it's been beating like crazy on that. I've been driving it. It's been beating like crazy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. But whenever you, uh, whenever you were Whenever you had the RPMs lower, uh -huh. you weren't in it. Man, it was smooth. You couldn't hear it. It was just when you got in it. Mm -hmm. That's one problem. I don't think we've mentioned yet, but it's a 350, just in case anybody doesn't know. Small block Chevy, most popular engine it, ever. No, it ain't the engine's fault. Yeah, it's, it's got 205,000 miles on it, at least. And a horrible maintenance program. Great. Well, when I had it, I did a great maintenance program, but that guy that had it before me, I don't know. 
Yeah, I think this one's a little tired. So let's see if there's one popped off the other side. Look, I got four of them in there at one time. Four with one blow, people. I'm gonna make you a shirt, Donnie. That says four at one blow. Two. Come on. You can see three there. There's three. They probably don't believe us. We're gonna have to prove it. There you go, there's three. There's four, he was right. Four with one blow. You know what I'm talking about with that? Nope. There's this old Grimm's fairy tale. The guy, uh, he took a fly swatter and he killed, he killed three flies at the same time. And so he had a, made, a shirt made up that said three with one blow. Huh. I killed three with one blow. And so he started walking around and everybody thought he was talking about people. And so like, he was very successful. Everybody's afraid of him. Something like that. I don't know, folks. I read it when I was five. Don't, don't, don't give me no crap. Okay, so the driver's side was fine. Man, I thought it was doing the driver's side. It sounded like it. Well, we're telling everybody this is 350. This might not be. It's a triple seven block, whatever that is. I'll look it up in a minute. I'll let you might know. be a 305 or a 327 or. 350 or 400. 350 or 400, yep. Well, folks, that was the reason that I was getting all the noise. Makes but sense. We're going to keep pulling it down. We're going to pull it on down and pull these heads off and uh, check it too. We'll show you that and then we'll finish up the video. Okay, folks, we looked up the block castings. This is a 1979 305. It's not even a 350 like we thought it was. I bought it used uh, five years ago. So it's a 79, this is an 83 truck. This is a 79 305. Which, and the heads are for a 305 too. Which probably just means somebody bought a cheap replacement motor and put in it. Yeah. I mean, if you buy an AutoZone motor, this is probably what you get. Yeah. It may be bored over or something. Uh-huh. Could be bored over. But we checked the heads too, and they're, they're the same heads. I didn't check to see if the heads was the same. Yep, they're the same. They're the same. They're 79 heads for a 305. So, uh, Somebody probably going to want to know that number. Yeah, here's the numbers. 406 Four, seven. Four, six, zero, seven, seven, seven on the head. I uh, know, on the block. I mean on the block, I'm sorry. The head is a 140-22601. 140-22601 on the heads. All right, now we're going to pop this one off because Donnie wants to see if the valve's burnt. Milwaukee. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> We're on YouTube, Donnie. We can't make a comment. I ain't said nothing. They're already going to mess with us for playing all this great country music in the background. Yo, I've got to... We're playing a Cherokee fiddle right now. i, I got to take pictures here in a few minutes. Yeah, that's the Christmas parade. We're going to do uh, Santa pictures and stuff. They want you to dress up as Santa, Donnie. Okay. They've been saying that. Let's take a spark plug out. All right. Looks decent. That's a week's worth of burn. Okay. He's going to pop it. Let me put my spark plug up. He's going to pop it. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to happen. Now, Donnie, that was just completely uncalled for. <laughs> I didn't mean to do it, really, but that's how it happened. Look, people, it needs to be rebuilt anyway if anybody ever Put uses it. The... Good Lord. Man, I'm lucky I didn't start a fire. It's all gas. Mm. So apparently... That's all gas, man. We 
got a mess working. We're working on here, people. All right, cylinder one was fine. This is the one that wasn't firing here. It's that one there, yeah. Valve looks fine. Valve looks fine. It just but, wasn't firing because that push rod wasn't doing nothing. And that head gasket looks good too. Well, it's blowed right there. See where it's? Oh, uh, yeah. See that? See that? Them two were swapping cylinders, so you had two dead cylinders. Yep. That would make sense. Yeah, because I've had vehicles before with a dead cylinder, and hell, they'll still go. It probably had one dead one for a long time, and then once I lost the second one, I started noticing it. Yeah, you blew in between compression. Mm-hmm. All I'm right. I'm going to take this on the Sit it down here in the floor. Watch out, people. You might get some oil on you. Yeah, that's all gas, actually, though, that poured out of that cylinder. Yeah, it's still, look at it. Dang on. <laughs> look at that one. Mm. But see how, see how much slop there is there? God almighty. Feel that's that. The tip of the, that's the tip of the piston. <laughs> that's the edge of the piston, see? Yeah, but feel the lip on that, really. Feel how water it is. Mm-hmm. Ten over, ten thousand. So it's been bored. Ten over, so it's been rebuilt at some point. But I'll tell you, I personally put a hundred and thirty-five thousand miles on this engine, and then whatever was on it before. So I mean, really, what can you say? You know, I mean, that's all they'll do. That's about a rebuilt hundred thousand. About all you can get out of it. That's why we're getting a new one, man. We're going because I'm gonna put some miles on it. Yeah, Ronnie wants to put another two hundred on. It. Damn right. He's gonna try to catch my four. Absolutely. God almighty. Ronnie, you dump it out of freeze, buddy. Don't worry about it, people. Deal with it, people. We're, we're going to clean it up. Don't we look like we're the type to clean stuff up? Look, he threw it right down, down there. That'll get it. Look, don't worry about it, folks. This ain't the first time, folks. Do you understand? Come on. Come on, people. Come on, people. Come on now. This ain't the people that this... It doesn't mean anything, people, when it look, people, we're going to clean it up, all right? All right? There's not, there's not a clean way to do this, all right? If you're going to mess with something that's a big piece of metal with a bunch of oil and water and coolant and gas in it, it's going to get all over the place. There's no way to get it all out. This is the only way to get it all out. That's why we're on the concrete instead of the carpet. Yeah. The old lady told me I wasn't allowed on the carpet. She said, last time I did that... Uh -uh. <laughs> no uh -uh. more. Look, he's going into the other one. He just can't resist. What? I wonder if anybody's still watching, Donnie. Hell, I don't know. Have we lost them yet? If they are still watching, y'all subscribe to the channel. <laughs> yeah. Get subscribe to the channel. Up. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. Now, folks, we didn't have to film this. And that's why it took us three hours, one reason. Yeah, that's one of the reasons it took us three hours. We're filming all this crap. Taking twice as long. And nobody gave us none of this shit. What do you mean? Like, we ain't got no sponsor. You paid for it? Yeah, I paid for everything. Well, me and you. Oh, God, he's going to charge me. Well... But at Milwaukee, it's working pretty good, except you have to hold the damn socket on, Donnie. What? What did they say? This ain't my first rodeo? This ain't your first rodeo, yep. Yep, yeah. something like that. And this motor is still warm, people. I drove it here. It was its last ride. Last ride. It did me pretty good. Here he goes again. Watch your foot, people. Remember how he did it last time? It might splash this time. Get back out of the way. Getting crazy with it. Get jiggy with it. Go ahead and get jiggy with it, Donnie. They want to see. <laughs> jiggy. Whoa. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I drop him down in the piston. Hell, it don't matter. That one's blowed too. Is it? Now, people are probably wondering why I'm so jolly about this. 
Man, there's issues. It's people, to... here's the deal, okay? I've been driving this truck. It ain't been driving that great. See right there, it don't have it again. It's got it there, it's got it there, but it don't have it there. That one was swapping. So when you find something really wrong with it, then that tells me that when I put a new engine in it, it's gonna drive a heck of a lot better. This is a good thing. Yeah, don't, I mean, hey, we're gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway, might as well. Uh, aren't you, aren't you glad have all you... kinds of problems. Look at that second cylinder. Cylinder three there, look at that. What's all that trash on it? That just come on it? No, it's just combustion. Got like grease in the back one. Ooh boy. That one was washing too. That one got a lot in it too. All right folks, so there you go. The problem that you were hearing is the push rod was uh, tripping. Lots of problems. Donnie's gonna play with his food here. Feed me see more. <laughs> All right, so what are we gonna do now, Donnie? You're gonna go buy an engine. I'm gonna go buy a brand new engine. Now y'all, I'm not buying a rebuild engine. Now I'm paying for it, but he's handling it because he's the, he's the engine guy. I ain't buying a rebuild engine. I don't like rebuild engines. In my younger days, look at that. Look how bad that's carbon up. That's the water jacket, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Is, or is that the exhaust? Yeah, that's water. The silicone in there. Good lord. Um, so I'm buying a brand new motor. I don't like remanufactured motors. There's nothing wrong with them. Don't get me wrong. I've run a bunch of them. I build a bunch of them. Um, but you don't know what you're getting. Pig in a poke. Well, I don't know what I'm getting. I don't. I can't choose if it was built on a Monday or a Friday. I can't. Uh, they don't last. They 100,000 miles, 120,000 miles are done. Um, just like this one here. The uh, Every new vehicle you get, or even if you get an original motor in one of these, they'll run 200, 250,000 miles. Um, you get one of these rebuilt, they'll run 100,000 miles. So we're going to put a brand new motor in it. And, uh, the pricing, uh, you can get a new motor from Chevy for about, with the intake and everything on it. Uh, for about thirty five hundred dollars, yeah. new three fifty. And see, that's another thing, Ronnie. What was my problem when I was building motors? When you was building motors, yo, they leaked oil. I could never get one to see. We like can't it. get one that don't leak. So <laughs> when I go, they'll run like hell, but they'll leak like hell too. So you've got uh, GM putting all that stuff on there. They're putting the oil pan on it. They're putting the valve covers on it. They're putting the intake on it. The timing chain cover on it. I mean, hell so we're hoping we won't have any leaks too. So what? we're going to try it. We've never tried it. We figured why not. And it's getting to the point where these, these trucks are actually worth a pretty good bit of money. Um, yeah. And I'll have paperwork on a new motor in it. Yeah. So, I mean, the, the truck's worth more money than I paid for it now, just because it's, they're kind of going up in value. People love them. And so, we've got a few. So if this works, we might do it again. Yeah. If this works, we're going to do it on the other one too, that, uh, we've been fighting, but we'll and see. Another. Yeah, and maybe Donnie's there. And maybe another. <laughs> but, you know. But we'll see. We'll see. So far, we're, we're halfway through. If y'all like the content, subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up for filming it. Um, we can wait on you, Nick, but we'll just wait. And the reason, hey, I want to address something. The reason Ronnie is not in no videos, he's in the a witness protection program. He cannot. I told people that. They don't believe me. He cannot be in a video. Well, if those people find me, yeah. it's going to be bad for them. It ain't going to be bad for me. Yeah, you know I know. I mean. I mean, I'm just trying to protect people. Then I'm going to have to bail them out of jail. Yep. So. so. <sighs> but uh, on our next video, people, it'll be Donnie messing around with a brand new motor. Now, Donnie, when you bring it in here, don't put it right there. At least put it right there. Don't put it right there, Donnie. Well, we're fixing to clean all this up here in a minute. <laughs> But I got to get ready to take pictures at the moment. See, I'm wiping this grease off. Do I got any on my face? Yes. God. <laughs> How the hell? I don't know. You got know. a shower here? No. Here, I got another paper towel. You can use this one. God. <laughs> that help any? I think it's a little worse. What about that? My old lady's coming. I can't look like this shit when she gets here. Uh... 
All right, folks, we're going to go see if we can clean them up. God almighty. But we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> folks, we've got a wood shop. Come on now. Come on, folks, come on. Did you really think we were going to... People, come on. Did you, did you really think we were going to leave all the... You saw the, the oil and the, and the coolant, and you, you really thought we were just going to leave... Uh, we were just joking, people. We were just joking. We've got... We, we've got a, don't, don't, don't you remember we've got, we, come on people, we've got all the sawdust people. We got the sawdust, it wasn't no problem. Come on people, come on now.